Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Adam and this is the sixth episode in Azure Fundamentals course. This time we will be talking about cloud deployment models and their key differences. Stay tuned. In our previous episode, we learned about service type models. This time we will be learning about the deployment models. This section of the exam will test you whenever you know what is a public, private and hybrid cloud and what are their differences. Let me start with a public cloud. In order to understand the public cloud, we need to make a very clear separation of where we are deploying our services. We are either deploying them to the cloud service provider or inside of our own data center. When it comes to the public cloud, that means all our resources are hosted in a public cloud. That means we don't own our own hardware anywhere. One thing to note is that in public cloud, some services share the hardware with other customers. This usually is solved by just picking the right pricing tier, but you should be aware of that when you're starting with the cloud and you have some security compliance policies in place. So public cloud is very simple to understand in general. You're hosting everything in public cloud. As in any deployment model, there are always advantages and disadvantages. In this case, when it comes to advantages, there's no capex, there's no capital expenditure. That means no big initial investment on your side. With cloud being highly available and agile by default, you get those all advantages by just simply going to the cloud. Thanks to pay-as-you-go pricing and this consumption model that we're talking about, you only pay for the resources that you use. And because Microsoft manages all of the hardware, there's no hardware maintenance required. And as such, no deep technical skills required from your teams. While there are some disadvantages, there's one major one when it comes to security and compliance. Because while cloud is secure by default, there may be specific security requirements or government policies, industry standards or legal requirements that the public clouds cannot meet. In that case, the public cloud might not be the right choice for you. There's always an issue with ownership because if you want to maintain your own hardware or make changes to the hardware, then again, you cannot do that because Microsoft is hosting all the hardware and managing all the hardware within their own data centers. And if you have some specific unique business requirements, then again, public cloud might not be the one for you. And on the other hand, we have private cloud, which is reverse model. You don't have anything in public cloud, you host everything in your own data center. In here, remember that you need to provide a self-service in order to be actually considered cloud and you need to provide all the benefits of the cloud except in your own data center. In this scenario, you are the one maintaining all the hardware. So let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using private cloud. The advantages are pretty obvious because you maintain everything, you have all the possibilities so you can support pretty much any scenario. You have total control over the security and as such, you can meet any security and compliant requirements. But maintaining your own hardware comes at a cost, and that cost is a big initial capital expenditure investment that you need to make. There's a limited agility because that agility is limited by the amount of hardware and the skills of your team. So excellent skills and expertise of your internal team is pretty much mandatory when running private cloud. And as you can imagine, this comes at a cost. Which brings us to the third model, which is the hybrid model. In this model, you take advantage of both public and private cloud. You connect them together to provide the greatest flexibility out of those three options. So when talking about the advantages and disadvantages, the obvious one is the great flexibility. But beyond that, you can run legacy applications in your private cloud, utilize existing infrastructure, meet any security requirements, but for everything else, move to the cloud and take advantage of all the good stuff from the cloud. In this case, the disadvantages are pretty obvious. Bigger environment consisting both public and private cloud might be more expensive, but it's definitely more complicated to manage and as such puts a bigger strain and bigger requirement on the skills and expertise of your internal IT teams. But that's pretty much it when it comes to those three models. If you want to learn more, Go to my website to episode 6 and check the study guide for this episode. There are some official materials about the cloud deployment models. There's episode cheat sheet and the practice test if you want to check what you have learned during this episode. 
And that's it for this episode. I appreciate every single one of you that stayed until the very end. If you like what I do, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. If you want to follow to the next episode, simply use the playlist or hit the icon on the side and see you in the next episode.